I'm going to use this uh, Best Bud by Sugar Brush. It is a lip butter balm in the shade Peony. Funny story. Tart actually just added me to their affiliate program. So now when I talk about this stuff, I can link it below. And if you guys purchase anything from Tart, I'll earn a little bit of money. Uh, I haven't really figured it out yet. I just got it yesterday. I was so excited though. And <laughs> I feel like nobody in my life would be excited about that but you guys. Mm, oh my God, that feels so good. Wow. It really does feel like butter. Hey, Laura. Ah, oh, sorry. Huh. Having a moment. That feels really nice. I actually did, accidentally ordered two of these, but they're so pretty. They're so cute. And they feel amazing. It actually feels a lot like the Miracle Lip Balm from um, Emily Cordone. It does. It's like really thick. So if you wanted that and it's out of your price range, that's pretty good. And between uh, Tarte and Sugar Rush, like the two, I guess, sister brands, there's a lot of good stuff on their website. So once I get it figured out, I'll add it to the description box of this video. If I ever get <laughs> everything figured out. Sometimes I feel like uh, I need a class in how to do this. <laughs> or like I need to like full on commit and do. I don't know. I like kind of get into the affiliate marketing thing and then I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I always am taken back to how I feel about using somebody's link where they earn money for it. If it's somebody I enjoy watching their content, I'm happy to. Like, especially if it's something I'm already going to buy and not something they just talked me into. I'm going to use these. They're Collagen Hydrogel Under Eye Patches by Earth Therapeutics. Um, I'm going to put them on. They're supposed to help with fine lines and dark circles, and I've definitely had all that going on lately. Is that Dawn? Hey, girly. Violet and I are doing our makeup together and watching you. Oh, yay. Yay. I'm glad you love it. Hmm. Big part under this part, right? Oh, that already feels really good. Put some on my nose, too. My sinuses can use a little cooling. I always wake up all... <sighs> sound like a monster when I wake up. Speaking of which, I feel like I got that a little close to my eye. My father will be back soon. I knew the girls were going to do that. Uh, Chris is trying to sleep. So, of course, they're going to freak out while I'm live and I can't go and shush them or distract them. Because I feel kind of bad, like, yelling at them or, you know, whatever for barking because it's, like, their way of talking. But Roxy's a little loud sometimes. She needs to turn down the volume. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of poking me in the eyeball. Oh, my watch is telling me to get up off my butt. You guys hate that? <laughs> like, I turned on the feature. I can obviously turn off the feature, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape um, in the shade Light Neutral. Man, every time I try a new concealer, I always end up back at this baby, and I didn't have a new concealer for us to try, so... We're just going to use that. It's my favorite, and it's getting close. Like, it's almost at the point where I need to take out the little, like, silicone piece when you guys can't get any more out. That little plastic piece comes off, and then you can scrape. It lasts, like, so much longer. Oh, man. Yesterday, I cleaned the far out of my house. I told Chris when he went to work, I was like, I'm going to clean this house like somebody's paying me to do it because <laughs> I do clean other people's houses. But then when I clean mine, I always seem to like, nah, that's good enough. Nah, that's good enough. I was like, nope, today I'm cleaning the house like somebody's paying me. I feel like it's squishing everything. These are very firm eye patches. Um, eye palette today, since I'm so excited about being added into their affiliate program, I figured we'd use a lot of Tarte products, and I've had this baby since I used, I'm so sorry, I know that's annoying, there's no telling when she'll quit either, um, I'm gonna use the Tartlet Little Toasted Palette, I got this in a three pack after they went on sale after the holidays, Ooh, there's my ring lights, um, I used my gift card that Chris got me, and I think I paid $31 for all three palettes, so 
not a bad deal. I'm just going to play around in this. And I have for brushes, the La Rose. We got these once before in black. Is it La Rose or La Rose? But anyways, they're supposed to be like over a hundred dollar brush set. So I figured I didn't, need, I don't think I ever, ever used the other ones. I think I ended up gifting them out. So it's time. I love these. I love the gray to white ombre brush heads. They feel really soft and I love the textured handles. I'm trying to like talk over her. <laughs> it's not working. I'm going to start right here with this shade, which is bundled up, I think. Hmm. Usually you can tell by the glitters. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The way it's written, I would think that this is Ember's Cozy Heat Wave, but it may be Heat Wave Cozy Ember's. I always get confused. Is that how it is in the pan? Like that's the first one in the pan? I bet that is. <laughs> I bet this one is bundled up, right? So then this one would be Flicker. Yeah. It makes more sense, I guess. The first one does kind of look like a cozy sweater. Oh my gosh, Chris is undoubtedly awake now. He had to get up. I think he got up at four and went to the floor. <laughs> and he went back to sleep around 8.30. So he's gotten four hours of sleep. And now Roxy's gonna wake him up. He's gonna be like, where were you? <laughs> Well, you were asleep, so I was like, ooh, I go live. I hang out with my girls. I'm gonna get makeup all over these eye patches. You're still waiting on your MC bag? I got mine. Ooh, yay! I didn't have enough points for that. I still only have like 700 points right now in my MC. Wow, Laura. He's early. I'm off today. I got the kids off to school. Got a little frustrated with saving this morning. I felt bad about it all day because he has a spelling test today. So I was like, let's just go over your words just a little bit before you get on the bus because we forgot to yesterday. And he basically didn't want to. I was like, you only have like two minutes tops right now anyway. So like, just go over a couple words with me. And he didn't do good on his last spelling test, so I was really trying to focus on that. And, I don't know, got frustrated with him right before he left. And he, when he gets frustrated, he does the whole, and just starts throwing things and arms and limbs everywhere. Well, he did that and somehow bumped his face. And so, he got on the bus in tears. That is never a good start for any mommy's morning. I was just trying to like help the kid be a better student and he freaked out he's not a morning person so i should have just left it alone he's like we go over it at school mom and i'm like i know but obviously you need a little extra help because that last test did not go very well anyways uh i haven't done like a mauvey kind of look so we'll we'll go with this we'll try this because this will look pretty over the shade I think I'm gonna do it a little bit here, just right here in the outer, and blend it in like I usually do. <laughs> I was like, do we try something different? No, comfort zone. I, I think it's cause I'm not really good with makeup. I hope like anybody, there's only six people here, but <laughs> so I imagine it's my normal girls. I'm not a makeup artist. This is not a tutorial. This is me hanging out with my friends, hi friends. Anyways, so yeah, I've been a little bummed all morning, but I got tonight's video edited, which I was supposed to do yesterday, but I did so much cleaning yesterday that I did not get to it. This is making me look a little bit like I have pink eye. Is it? Just a little? Are we, is it a pretty pink eye though? <laughs> I think I'm going to use the deepest shade in this palette too. since it doesn't really matter about fallout since we have the eye patches on. The jet's more brown. I wanted to use it in like the lower lash line. More like orange. Okay, cool. Well, no, that's fine. <laughs> I don't want, I feel like I, I feel like that every time I do like a pink eye look, I'm like, oh, I don't know if this just makes me look ill. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
I just wanted to deepen it up a little bit and then we'll go underneath the lash line once we get foundation on and stuff. Maybe if I bring it in a little bit more to deep this shade. Okay, I'm gonna buff that out a little bit. But not bad, and I like the brush. The brush did a good job. Maybe after I get on like foundation and everything. I can make it look a little bit more intense, but I want to see how everything kind of turns out before I mess with it. Oh, I do need to film today. I've got a haberdash box here. I've got some stuff to show you that I bought as per usual, but it's smaller than the one that's coming up tonight. And then Look Fantastic reached out to me and they were like, hey, can you... Um, I'm just gonna tell you who it is, <laughs> obviously. But they were like, hey, can you review our December box? And then I gave them the general spiel of like, um, I'd love to, you know, do a, a feature video on you, blah, blah, blah. Will you hook up on my girls? And they were, I think, I'm pretty sure they said no, but then I got two boxes. So I don't know what to do now because it's December's box and I didn't get it until January. Like our postal service was crazy around here. I forgot to do a shimmer. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Go ahead and vote. Let me know what you think. Because I can't, uh, that way I can talk instead of making decisions. <laughs> One, two, or three. Um, what was I saying? Um, so now I don't know. I may just show it in a what I bought and what I got because it's super late. Or I may just do a dedicated video to a giveaway since I got two boxes. And they're both a December box, so... Whether or not they said yes, it's going to be a giveaway video. So, I don't know. Anyways, what do we get? One, <laughs> two. I thought I saw four. That's the number of people in here. Elaine says two. Laura says one. Anybody want to be the tiebreaker for us? Where's my mom at? Mom usually hops on my live. She must be working. I have nothing but cold coffee down here. I don't know what I was trying to do to myself. <sighs> okay, well, out of one and two, I feel like one is normally my jam. What if we do a one and go into a two? <laughs> like, inner corner one. I'm gonna try and do it with the brush, although I always feel like I go in with my finger at the end of it, but then I got these claws on today, so I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't really want to like deposit over that matte shade, which I guess will be good. We don't want it to. Anyways, what else is going on? Uh, work is work. Nothing really going on there. Uh, kids school has been pretty normal. We had one snow day that ended up being not no snow, but they were able to use the online learning to call inclement weather early. So, and we're, we live in Tennessee. So if we see a snowflake, <laughs> cancel everything. Cause we gotta watch it. It'll be gone soon. Something like that. All right. So I started at the inner corner and I'm just gonna use the same brush since we're gonna blend it into it anyways. And do that second shade on this side. Oh wow, cool. So you've been jamming out all day? You can share it with us and we can all check it out afterwards. Oh, I need to like, that's what I did yesterday. I turned on Spotify and just moved it around to the rooms that I was cleaning in. Looks kind of cool. I'm gonna mess with the crease just a little bit more. Since we did that, I feel like you're not gonna be able to see it unless I deepen up the crease. Not gonna be able to see like that outer shade. Cool. 
Come check it out. It's the star. But yeah, I jammed out and cleaned all day long. I felt so good. And my closet that upstairs is so much better for it. It needed it so bad. So very badly. Okay. I don't know how long I was supposed to have these eye patches on, but I've had them on for 15 minutes. Let's see. Da, 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 da. It says wear patches for about 30 minutes. I guess I could do my brows. Oh, I thought it came out already. You're saying it comes out tonight. Okay, so we're gonna I'm just stared at it for a second. We're gonna use the W7 Bow to the Brow Brow Thickener. I don't know how this is gonna go. I've never heard of the brand. It's in the shade Brunette, and they have really cute packaging. So looks like it's giving me like benefit vibes, you know. Okay, but we will see. It was only two ninety nine at TJ Maxx, and I'm always looking for new brow stuff to try because I don't think. I would say my favorite one for the price, there's two actually. There's a, the Cover, Cover Girl, the double-ended brow product, and then the Sephora one, the one that has the spoolie on the end. Picture. Spoolie, you know what I mean? Yeah. It twists up. Oh, you already purchased it? Cool. It's on iTunes and Amazon Prime at the moment. She just purchased it and heard it eight times already. That's cool. It's Juan Pablo de Pace. And it's Fall On Me. If anybody is watching after the fact, I don't think you can see. What is this going to be? Okay. <laughs> Oh, man, guys, this could go so wrong. I guess it's a good thing we haven't done foundation. Wait. Wispy brows are a thing in the past with this super fine powder that clings to delicate hairs to help create the illusion of a thicker brow. But it does not have instructions on it. Or on the product. Shake well before use, it says. I'm gonna do that now. Oh, what did I do? What am I doing, you guys? Okay, here we go. So I just brush it through. <laughs> it looks a clumpy mess. I mean, hopefully, oh, it's, <laughs> it's getting all over my palette. It's gonna be all over my blanket, Sherry. I'm gonna have to wash it. Wait, is Sherry here? This is crazy. Mm, Savior, two ninety nine, two ninety nine day. Spend it on something else. Keep walking in TJ Maxx. Go buy a pillow. Okay, now that there's less product on this side, though. I mean, it is going pretty fast. So maybe I just had way too much product on it. And it does kind of just give the illusion of thicker brows. On this side, on the other side, it kind of looks like, like you can still see the powder. Good morning. I was wondering where you were. I was like, I saw your boat, man. Where are you at? Man. Oh, man. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I feel like I fixed it a little bit. I do need a spoolie. I don't have one over here. Oh, I have my tra travel brush case. I think there's one in there. I had to deal with distance learning. I got you. This is what I took on our little mini trip. It is a case by Sephora. And I got all my little favorite brushes in it. So I have it down here so I can wash them off. Put them all back up again. And I realized while I was there that I took some very crucial brushes out of it. I mean, I still got the looks done, but 
Whew. All I can say is I'm glad I have not done foundation yet. This brow does look really natural and normal. This brow, on the other hand, where I started with way too much product, it got a little muddy in some areas, but I think we can clean it up. It was fun. It was neat to try. I don't know if it was worth the $2.99. I don't know if, like, <laughs> I'm probably surprised just watching somebody use it <laughs> instead of actually purchasing it myself. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. We're at 20 minutes with these eye patches on. I'll do a liner then. So, I have a dual ended Tarte liner. It's the Tartiest Double Take Eyeliner. It's in, like, uh, brown. I was going to say chocolate. It's brown. <laughs> Color is brown. I'll go ahead and do this really quick. Uh, or at least part of this. So, it's got your felt tip on one end and your twist up charcoal, I guess, liner. I don't really, you know what I mean. That liner. You know what I mean. <laughs> Please, God. I don't know what I mean. I'm ready to take these eye thingies off, though. They move when I talk. I just wanted to get all glammed up today. I'm wearing extensions I haven't worn in a little while. A little darker. Having a darker moment today. So I love about my hair being in like this, um, like ash blonde state is I can use my lighter extensions if I want to, or I can use my darker extensions. Like I, it's kind of neutral. Or at least I think I can. <laughs> You guys might be looking at it and be like, oh, that doesn't blend well. But I think it looks funky. What do you guys think? Do you like them? Do they look like they don't match or do they look like they match? Just a little micro one. Nothing too fancy. Ooh, I don't like the way I ended this one though. I hate it when it looks like the line came out of nowhere. Like real blunt. And then, like, I need them to match up with each other. At least a little bit. You know what I mean? Why does that still look off? Oh, it's my lashes. <laughs> I was like, wait, it looked okay. But yeah, we'll probably use this as well. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. This is all I can do. Oh, Father's there is home. He's probably gonna make a bunch of noise when he comes down here and he talks to the girls like there's children the dogs it's so cute you guys might get to hear it they get very excited when he comes home and he gets very excited to see them as well okay i just now realizing because i've been using this all the time i didn't bring my normal mirror over here i'm just gonna sit this down while i do my foundation well, it's not really foundation. Oh, and the sponge I used was the makeup eraser sponge. I got it in one of my boxes and it came with this little tool so you can like wash it in the washing machine. It felt really good um, using it for my primer on my eyes. I was trying to talk loud so he knows I'm in here so he's not loud, but we'll see. He didn't bring the dogs down here, I'm surprised. Oh, bye, Laura. You have a good day, too. Thank you for coming by. I always say that in, in, on Instagram. Like, I understand if you guys can't stay long. I appreciate you just stopping in and saying hi. It means the world to me. You're so sweet. Bye, Laura. Have a good day. Okay. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Skin Paradise. I have not gotten to try this yet. It is a water-infused tinted moisturizer, which I've been all about lately, which is why I didn't put on a primer. Because I feel like sometimes when I put on a primer with a product like this, it just, I don't know, dilutes it too much, I guess is the best word for it. What did I do with that dang sponge? Okay. So I'm going to put it on the flat end and then just, ooh, that is very dark. <laughs> I self tan today, but I feel like medium shades are getting darker and darker. And yeah, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. There's no way. Should we try it? <laughs> should I wipe it or should we try it? 
normally I'm like, oh, I'll make it work with concealer, but I feel like that's going to be way dark. Mm. I was not expecting that. That stinks. Look at the coverage, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> Should we use that instead? <laughs> Let's use that instead. Oh, uh, y'all. Wow. Guys. It does feel good. Let's let's just go ahead. Since it's already on the skin. I mean, it does feel good. And it gives a ton of coverage. You see, like, my face looks that color now. But it's way too dark for me. There's no way to make that work. There's no way. It happens. I'm stepping away from it. I'm frantically looking for a makeup remover wipe. <laughs> just joining me <laughs> god help us all oh my god okay it's okay everything's gonna be all right <sighs> uh, has the bum bum cream and add-ons i feel like i still have several laying around the house i'm good for now and i'm really trying and, and the bum bum's definitely my favorite. The other one, some people said it smelled like burnt popcorn. And I feel like since I read that comment, sometimes I smell burnt popcorn. I'm kind of mad that I read that comment. <laughs> I never smelled that before. Just goes to um, tell you the uh, power of suggestion. What that does. <sighs> now that my skin's looking a nice orange color, we're ready. That's how I color correct. Now, see, naturally now my skin is red <laughs> and yellow from being rubbed and prodded with different stuff. I think I got it. Wow, that was pretty hard to remove too for like initial application. Not that most people would want to do that. So one of you guys asked what the elf, what I thought about the elf CC cream. So um, considering the fact that that was the perfect shade for us. I'm gonna grab it and we're gonna use it instead because actually, where are you at? It's a little too dark for me too, but just a little bit. Um, and it has really nice coverage. So much that I was like, I would really like to have, I just now realizing that I have self tan on my face too. So I've already, I've just wiped all that off. Anyways. Um, but it's so good of a product that I was like, I need a lighter shade. And then maybe I can mix the two when I'm self-tanned. But it's not that bad. Way better than the other one. But the, the coverage on this one's also really good. So this is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Like I said, I know it's too dark for me, but it's not as bad as the other one. I have already repurchased the light neutral shade. Like in light. I feel weird picking a category light because I've always done medium. But I'm also tired of this. I'm tired of my face not matching my scalp, but also the rest of my body doesn't match my scalp either. I don't know. Things that bother me. But I do think like a lighter shade on this will work. However, today I just self-tanned and <laughs> with concealer it should work. I mean, I always look, eh. Anyways. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I don't think anybody is expecting perfection from me. I hope not, because they're going to be greatly disappointed. But I do try. <laughs> you want a free shipping, so you went ahead and ordered the Pharmacy Gel Moisturizer. That's got to be good. I have not found one that I don't love. I know how you feel. I actually, I'm on Influencer. And that's how I got this through my influencer um, account. Like I did surveys and stuff and they sent it to me. And um, I, one of the girl, one of the girls on influencer posted a question about it. Cause you get points or 
impact points or something like that for posing questions. She was like, is this really worth all the hype? And I was like, well, I have a ton of foundations and BB creams and CC creams and tinted moisturizers. And I still purchase this bad boy in a lighter shade for when I'm not self-tanned. If that tells you anything, which I think to me, if somebody tells me I have a lot of something, but I just couldn't help myself, I went ahead and got this. Um, I feel like that's a big testament to what the product's like. Um, just focus on my face. The, it really does give a nice coverage. It's dewy. It feels nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot. Um, and yeah, it stays on pretty good throughout the day. I don't know. Any other questions? I'm going to try and fix my bra a little bit up there. <laughs> there we go. I get melasma up in that area and right here. So that's why I get a little cuckoo with my concealer. Anywho, it's wrong beauty blender. <sighs> I don't know. I want to do something fun with the kids. With Sam especially. I feel like Carly's sister drives now and they get to go out more often. Sam's a homebody, but we just, I don't know. This has just been, it feels weird to go this long with, without being like active with your family as far as like going places and seeing things and experiencing things together. Maybe I'm just feeling that, you know? I think we're all a little bored <laughs> in the house and we're in the house for a little bit. Yeah, um, boxy charm kills me, uh, Dawn. It kills me. I have been spending way too much money there. And, <laughs> I mean, granted, I'm getting products I love. They're not just, like, when you do the add-ons and stuff. Or the shops. That, like, it's stuff you love, you know? Oh, we don't have a Lego store around here, Elaine. But he would love that. Um, there are two Lego lands. One in Georgia, which we don't know how they're operating things right now. And one in Florida. And the one in Florida is more resort theme park. There's a hotel with an elevator that the floor lines up on and that he just really wants to go stay at. And then we thought we'd take him to the one in Georgia last year and then save up and eventually take him to the one in Florida before he's too old and doesn't want to do it anymore, you know? <laughs> um, we have all these other brushes. I have not really been setting my face lately. I have old skin, and I feel like it dries out super easy. Oh, yeah. Mine, too, Elaine. They could they could build some stuff together. Sam loves that. He, um, I'd say he has most, if not all, of the Lego Minecraft sets. Like, he, he has an addiction. <laughs> he can't say anything about my makeup, because he has the same thing when it comes to Legos and toys. Hopefully, this works. I feel like it's a little too Lumi, but it's the Lumi Bronze It by L'Oreal Paradise. It is a sun-kissed bronzer for face and body. Hopefully, it don't look crazy on my face, but if it's gonna, today's the day since like, not a lot. It's gone right. Oh, this brush is soft. This is so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. It does what my big... um. What brush Moda brush does that I normally use for bronzer, but it diffuses it so lightly. It's so pretty. Lillian loves Legos too. She's totally a tomboy. I think that Legos are a good sign of somebody that has um, amaz amazing imagination. And like, I always think like, who knows what Sam will do when he gets big. That comes from the love he has now for Legos. It is glowy, but it does give you a nice, like, bronzy look without looking like a straight, separate color. It just looks like sun-kissed. I love it. Um, for my nose, I think I'm going to use, or should I use that for highlighter? I have my SL Miss Glam brush. I feel like that'll be good for the nose. Yeah. This is one that I got in my empty bag. I still haven't used the ones that I won. I'm like, I don't know. Sometime last year, I decided to quit 
saving things for special occasions. Like, I want to use this and I want to, uh, like, after the house fire, it taught me, like, there were things that I didn't get to use that were lost in the fire. I mean, granted, we got our money back on them if we remembered them or they found them. Um, but I don't know. It just made me feel like, what, what am I waiting for? Just to use the things that you spend your hard work money on, you know? Like, don't save them. Save them for what? They'll still be there. Especially if it's something like a brush that you can clean. Um, and I'm about to buy some more cinnamon secrets if I can remember because I'm out and I don't even want to br wash my brushes like it seems ridiculous to wash them another way because I don't feel like they're ever as clean and they don't smell <laughs> sanitized and um I don't know I just don't like them as much they're not dry as fast <laughs> the whole process takes so much longer all right we're gonna try just using these other brushes for things. This one's supposed to be a flat powder brush, so I'm gonna use it for blush. Um, hmm. I think the bottom one. Ooh, but the top one maybe. Or not top one, top blush. That's highlighter. <laughs> I'll have to say, yeah, I'd love to see that. That's so cool. She is so good. She'll be in middle school next year and wants to take art classes. Don't you love bragging about your babies? Making sure I didn't miss anything. I hate it when you get one eye with a perfect wing and the other eye just doesn't want to work with you. Kelly Strack showed something on her channel where you take, I don't have any today, but you take like your brow, or not brow pomade, but uh, liquid eyeliner. I don't know how you say it. Like a, I have one. Like Cream-based eyeliner, I guess, like this. And you put it on the lash line and then you use the brush to flick it out and it just goes so easy. It really is. I did that yesterday. What did I drop? I think I just dropped that. Yes, I'll do it all day, right? Like, my, I feel you. So, middle one, right? We think, yes. We could do a combo, but let's see what the middle one looks like. Oh. That is pretty. I don't know why I always do that <laughs> when I'm doing my blush. I'll do, like, one stroke. I'm like, oh, let's see what it looks like on the other one. And then I get it perfect, and then I wait and come back to this one. And then this one never looks placed as nicely what it'll do <laughs> for now. I kind of want to try the other one too. Yeah. Mm. I think the first blush was my favorite. I never wear this much blush. Definitely blend in it a little bit more. It's a different blush. Brush, brush. All right, and we'll do highlighter and then we'll finish out the eyes and do my leaves. You have the Tarte Blush Highlighter Bronzer Kit too. You've been using the blush in, into it and let it glow. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love these. I've already got my other one in the drawer and I keep grabbing for it. And then, I don't know, today I had a couple different options for highlighter and blushes and stuff and this is where I gravitated towards, so. I do love Tarte's products and they're vegan and cruelty free. Um, they use clean ingredients. They're, um, a company that gives back. I couldn't believe that they approved me. Like little old almost 4K me. Almost 4K! Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> I um, I feel like it took longer to get to 4K than it took me to get to 1K sometimes. But I am so freaking grateful and excited. And I just cannot wait to get like all the way there so that we can celebrate. I got a little too excited for the dogs. I'm like, how am I going to put this? <laughs> oh, I've got more brushes over here. I'm trying to figure out how to get this um, in my inner corner. So that I have more brushes. Y'all. It's pretty. It's like a, a gold rose. Rose gold is what I meant to say. So I thought it would look really pretty in the inner corner too. Thank you. 
Um, for me, it's definitely not a numbers thing. I told Chris a long time ago, like, I could stay here and be good with it just because of the fact that because it's a small group of people that want to watch and it's not like they're not just checking you out to be like, oh, who's this girl that some people are talking about or whatever. Like, it's people that actually want to watch your channel instead of like... People don't want to be mean. I don't want to deal with that. And I like the group of ladies that I have. I hope you guys don't leave me ever. Okay. Uh, I still can't believe how badly. It's just medium O2. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to start getting just light things, I think. Um, instead of medium. Just stay away from medium altogether. But like this with concealer on and stuff doesn't look too bad, right? But yeah, I just haven't been doing powder lately because I feel like my skin dries things down on its own. Um, so if I do it, I do it very lightly. Hmm. We're going to do something underneath the lash line. So I don't know why I put those brushes on. I'm just going to use a flat brush and pick up that deepest shade in the palette. This is the Luxie 221. And connect it with the eyeliner on the top. And then work my way around. And I'm just going to smoke this one out a little bit. Have it come down a little bit lower. As I get closer to the outer part of my eye. Oop, that went a little funky. There we go. little shadow wing moment. I think I forgot where, <laughs> where I was going. <laughs> you guys ever do that? You're like, ah. I don't know. I have to be careful not to do that. I do that sometimes, like dig the end of my brush into my shadow because I'm trying to see. didn't see that. <laughs> I need a tweed. See the little hairs right there, they're driving me nuts, but I'll get them later. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I did get mascara. I did, I did. I've got the Milani Highly Rated Mascara, like that's what it's called. That's what it's all about, sister. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet, Elaine. Thank you. Yes, I like them very, very much. If all of them feel really soft, for one thing. I used all of them. Cool. Um, but um, that bronzer, the ones I used, this is maybe a game changer for me. It's for, supposed to be for blush, but it's the one I use for bronzer. It just, like, molded against my, like, it doesn't even feel like I'm doing anything. It feels so nice. I might actually just use this one to blend my highlighter in because it feels good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't do any down here. I usually do bronzer down here around my nose, which I did a little bit. And then I do a little bit underneath my lip, and it makes my lips look a little bit more pouty. But it's shimmery, so I don't know if that'll look good anyways. Um, but, yeah, I got this in my Walmart beauty box. They skipped winter um, because of everything going on. They just went ahead and skipped winter. And it gave them time to refocus on this box. And I would say, this is without a mirror. <laughs> and I would say it was worth it. Um, the box was really good. I showed you guys that, didn't I? Maybe in the last live. 
Anyways, I'm not really like focusing on doing them perfectly because I've got the uh, pre-glued Eyelure lashes that I'm going to use today. So, I just need these to not stand out. <laughs> the girls have actually been pretty good because they're in there with Lane. I think they are anyways. I don't know. I don't feel like they're as dramatic as they usually are with my other ones, but they also look really defined. Okay, so with the second coat, you still have the definition, but you start to get a little bit more um, volume. What are you guys doing today? I don't think I asked you yet. Like my plan is to film and possibly go to Target because I need paper towels and toilet paper. And if you have to go get paper towels and toilet paper, why not go to Target? <laughs> Chris was like, mm-hmm, what makeup are you going again? <laughs> Cause he knows. <laughs> like it's, <laughs> there's always like a hidden agenda. <laughs> When we're talking Walmart. Oh, let's do this first and then we'll do my lips. So these are the pre-glued Wispy Intense. These are in my Amazon storefront. I've purchased them multiple times. They're super fast and easy. If you're not good with lashes or maybe you've never tried them before and you're like, don't want to mess with glue or you're worried you're going to get glue in your eye because most all lash glue that I know of is wet, even if it's the magnetic liner or whatever, but these come nicely packaged and they're pre-glued. So all you have to do, it tells you which one's right, tells you which one's left. <laughs> these are literally like carrying proof. Oh yeah, and they come out. I forgot about that. <laughs> the little piece comes out so that you can peel the lash off and like hopefully get the glue with it. That one stuck. I've never had one do that to me before. I'll have to fix that. The glue's in the lash now. Ooh, maybe this sat out and got warm. <laughs> the glue is very tacky. I have to have these nails on today, really? Okay. That one got kind of jacked. I don't know if that one's gonna... I might just cut these down anyways. Because if I cut it down, I cut off the boo-boo part. And they won't be so... I feel like here lately, <laughs> can you tell I've been cutting my lashes off lately? <laughs> Just like the last little umph is what I've been cutting off. And funnily enough, that's what is acting cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs on this one lash. Okay. Hard to cut the pre-glued lashes. There we go. <sighs> okay. So yeah, pre glued I, if I cut down my lashes, I always cut the sign that is the longest because if they're a tapered lash that gets smaller as they go in and they're supposed to be like that, like you don't want to mess with that. Hmm. Just random lashes everywhere now. Okay. I feel like I hit the struggle bus there for a second, but hopefully I redeem myself here. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Hey, don't be mean. There's still glue on these whole little applicator things. And then I usually take my finger with the pre-glutes and just kind of push down a little bit. I feel like it pulls little fine powders off of my fingers and onto that glue band. And that way they won't lift at all. But these stay on all day long. They're so easy to put on. Most of the time I don't have an issue with the glue. So that was a little weird. So like, look, that one came right off. <laughs> like, that was so easy. I'm going to cut these down too. To that last little oomph. And apply them. I'm going to actually, really quick... <laughs> There's some eyelash glue on here. 
Snug it off. But yeah, uh, I don't think we're doing anything else. Maybe going to Target. If you guys didn't notice in my Instagram stories, we still have our Christmas stuff inside the house. It's not up, per se. The tree is still up. I actually cleaned the house really good, and I tucked the tree behind one of our uh, side tables and tagged Chris in that story and was like, do you like what I did with the tree? Because the trees go in boxes. So, like, we can put those up right now, but we need bins for the other things. But Chris says it all happens at once, so. And he puts them up so I don't have to, so. I do it, you know he wants to do it hey so the glue already set <laughs> and I have it a little bit further down than I would prefer but I think it's okay I think it will be okay you however need to go against the lash line <laughs> it's sitting on my lash I swear this is normally so much easier there we go Now it's just messing with them and feel, me feeling secure with them. These are cute. These are a different style than what I tried last time. I think they're cute. Uh, they are, I think it just says wispy. Wispy intense. I think the other ones are just wispy. All right, I'm going to take these out and then we'll do my lips. I feel like I'm about to get a, become a big tangled mess. Oh, pull you guys down a little bit. <laughs> so I can use you as a mirror. How rude. <laughs> How rude. All right. Got that out. Move all this from the rando lashes. This was me spoiling myself. Shortly after Christmas time. Like, I, I haven't been spoiled enough. But I saw it. And I just couldn't help myself. It's um, one of the sets. So this one's on repeat. It comes with a lip liner, a liquid matte lipstick, a stay glossy lip gloss, and a velvet mousse lip, velvet mousse lipstick. I think I want to try the lip liner with the velvet mousse lipstick. But anyways, they're all in the same shade. <laughs> it's all that on repeat. <laughs> so fun, funny. Okay. I can't open packaging. I was gonna like show this on my Instagram stories, and I was like, no, there's no way of opening the packaging without me demolishing it. So I didn't. I think it was stories. I still can't get it out. Oh, 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 I love the packaging. It feels matte, it feels nice on my skin. Okay. I'm crazy. I'll cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for so long. Mm. Are my lips still just like too moisturized? For it to stick? There we go. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty. Kind of reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury with Pillow Talk. <laughs> Somebody's whining for Wayne's attention. Can't tell which one it is. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love the shade. Which is good because they're all the same shade. Um, but I also love the big packaging here and how nice it went on. Uh, so this is um, on repeat in Velvet Mousse. In the formula, whatever. Oh, that feels nice. I have not tried anything else from Dose of Colors. Do they have other things or are they just lips? I don't think I have. No way. Maybe eyeshadows. That's a lie. Yeah, eyeshadows. I've tried other things. 
Mm, I love this. It actually does really remind me of Pillow Talk. But it's really pretty. I love my nudes. They had, it was hard to decide in the ad. <laughs> they had, um, like, it was nothing but nudes and they were all just so pretty. So I was like, oh, I don't want to get one that's too pink or too brown. I want like a nude nude, you know? And I think this is a good one. We could, I think we should, oh, try it with my, do I, no worries that. I was leaving it like, sorry if my butt's in <laughs> again okay i was gonna say i've been leaving like my color changing over out but i actually think it is in my work my like backpack for work so we can't do that we could do the gloss let's try the gloss stay glossy why not oh i love the way their glosses and their formulas feel i love it Okay, and then we still have a liquid matte. I'm not going to try it in another video because it's the same color. It's just matte. So we know what that looks like. All right, is that everything? I think so. I'm going to set my face really super fast with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day. I actually was feeling a little bit dry before we came on and since I knew I wasn't going to use a moisturizer I decided to just spray my face with that and oh my gosh it did the trick it does feel really moisturizing but it, you don't like get drowned it I love it okay that's all that's in here <laughs> I almost fell who's still with me hey girl hey Tony Bree what's up Yay, Tina's here. I didn't even see you guys coming in. You have to get Violet to school. Oh, Dawn probably already left us. Aw, she's so sweet. Have a great day, sweets. Um, They didn't do winter. I just got what they call spring, I think, um, which is where the mascara that I got came from. And I unboxed it during what I bought and what I got live, I think. But... Hope that helps. So you should be getting one soon if you didn't get it already. You, did you not get the email? Like every time before I get a box, I get the email of like, hey, we're about to send you a box. We just want to make sure this is still your dress. You know, do you get those? I would say look out for that if you haven't gotten it. I got mine probably like six or eight weeks before I got my box. So it's been a while. All right, ladies, I am ready for my day. I'm curious to go and see if Chris is awake yet and to go and I'm so ready to make another pot of coffee. I drink it all day. Like, I don't stop. I love this stuff. I do drink a little water. <laughs> Look, uh, can you see my nose growing? <laughs> I knew I was lying as I was saying it and I just couldn't get all the way out. Um... <laughs> There's water and coffee. No, I know that's not, I know that doesn't count. Uh, I am conscious of my inability to consume anything other than Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola. <laughs> well, that's the only soda that I have. Um, coffee or the occasional glass of wine, but I'm trying to get better. You always get the email after you've gotten the box. Well, then you might be getting the box soon then. I got my box last week, so hopefully you get yours soon. I feel cute. I feel like my makeup looks cute. Yeah, I would say if you haven't bought the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, I haven't been able to find it in store. I went and looked several places. <laughs> I... <laughs> I got Chris to take me to CVS because Kroger didn't have my creamer because they were out of it when we did our pickup order. So I was like, maybe CVS will have my creamer. And I was like, I'm going to look for the Elf CC cream. Went in, they didn't have it. And I was like, they don't even carry my creamer. I never even looked. <laughs> I didn't even say that. I didn't lie. I said, they never have what we need. I don't know why we went there. <laughs> That's what I said. And we went to Walgreens and they didn't have it either. Who has it? Kroger didn't have it. Walgreens didn't have it. Have fun at Target. Maybe watch Target will have it because I already bought um, 
we drink water how you think we make coffee exactly that's like reading that anyways but yeah maybe target will have it because i've already purchased an order online i got that and i got one of the quad colors and then i got something for free i think um but i didn't spend very much <laughs> it's just it's only like 13 14 dollars so and i mean it looks good right it's look okay Shade her eyes when, with myself. I have a tan on now, so technically there's a color guard on that won't go away. But I feel like by the time I wash it off, the color guards, the color that my skin will be once it goes off, if that makes any sense. Off to Walmart. Whew, you found it at Walmart. That's probably why. Because, um, like I've mentioned it before, we're slightly, <laughs> as much as I can, boycotting Walmart because they're starting to open locations where they don't have any tellers. And we think it's very important uh, as a large retailer in the kind of location that they are, that they are not only that in their community, but also a large employer. And they're trying to employ less people. So I just, I don't know. I feel like they're getting a little big in their britches and they're trying to squeeze that profit line a little bit too much at the expense of their employees. My mom worked for Walmart for over 20 years. I do have like some very fond memories. <laughs> I've been featured in two Walmart fashion shows when I was about nine years old. <laughs> when Walmart Superstores first started opening, um, it was like, I don't know, people were more like they did things there, you know, like they did things inside Walmart. They used to do things in their community and like, I don't know, they did glamour shots, like that somebody would set up a little booth next to Intuits or something and they did glamour shots, me and Jennifer had glamour shots done there. And because mom was in that particular department and she was the manager department, she got to do a fashion show. And of course her daughters were in the fashion show and we got a discount on our outfits if we wanted to keep them. And it was a lot of fun. I felt like <laughs> I was a little bit of a ham. <laughs> if you can imagine a Walmart fashion show in Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> I don't know. It was fun. And I don't know. I I have, I don't know, a decent amount of memories with my mom and Jennifer, but not, I don't know. Me and Jennifer used to fight a lot, so they weren't always, like, uh, really great ones. So it's nice to have those. <clears throat> Sam Club closed the cash office down because they put automatic teller machines in to count the money. Wow. Wow. I mean, with that we have... Um, the travel centers of America. We use the safes that you just pop your money into and then TA corporate has their own accounting department and they have us do all like that stuff, but then they have the safe, you know? So, so we used to have an accounting department when it was singularly owned by um, Sam Smith and like that, the whole need of that was completely gone with that, just that one automatic safe. So I completely understand that. That's crazy, man. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, there like movies used to be based off that a lot. Like you don't see it quite as much now, but like just, it's crazy. We're gonna have to get smarter. <laughs> if we're not gonna be this, we're gonna have to be this. Um, you knew someone who worked there for over 20 years who lost their job because of it. See, like, I, and I was only with um, Subway Development Office for six years, and that hurt. It continues to hurt. It not only hurt me personally, it hurt me professionally as far as I had drive before it, and it shattered any drive I have outside of what happens inside this household. You know what I mean? I mean, with the exceptions of, like, caring about you guys and, like, family and stuff like that. But as far as, like, wanting to help another brand build themselves while hopefully helping myself build my, like, I don't know. Just don't feel like I, I don't know. Like, I don't want to climb any executive ladder anymore whatsoever. I just want to be happy. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Like feeling like you invest yourself into a company and then you find out years later that you were the only one investing. <laughs> I mean, I got a severance, but I don't know. 
anyways. I, I think anyone who's been laid off after a long amount of time knows exactly what I feel. All right, guys, I've had you for over an hour. I feel cute. I have for like 10 minutes, so I guess I'll go ahead and let you go now. Thank you guys for hanging out. And if you're watching this afterwards, which it seems like it's my most popular video, aside from like a Stitch Fix or something like that, a Nadine West or a fashion, you guys like really do watch these and I appreciate it. I don't know why, because I'm just chilling here trying to hang out with you guys. <laughs> I wish you'd come live, but I totally understand how life is. Children's Hospital pushed my mom out after 30 years. You knew someone who worked. Oh, sorry. I'm reading your comment again. That's crazy. I don't know, man. Where is the value in, like, people? Like, um, I don't know. I could keep going on about this. There's other stuff like I could talk about, but I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and let you go for now because I've had you for so long. Maybe next week we get into this talk about employers versus the value of employees but for now i'll go ahead and let you guys go i will not see you again until this evening and then <laughs> like it's so long and then i'll be back with you guys on monday because this was our live um i do love doing lives on saturday morning it feels like a completion of the week in the beginning of my weekend however i now work weekends thank you corona but uh i do I like hanging out with you guys no matter what day of the week or what time it is. So, I don't know. Thank you guys for coming. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Until then, my loves. Bye. Have a good day.